Okay, guys. Well, let's open it water. Okay, guys. Finally, I got it. Who? And whole new crap. That stator looks much, much bigger than I ever see on a future motion. Well, future motion, I believe all wheels has the same stator. <sighs> I'm running off my breath uh, in diameter. Uh, but this guy, yeah, it has also, I'd like to mention, yes, it does has a Japanese SKF bearings. The machining part looks quite nice. Uh, it has, it has also uh, O-ring, looks pretty good, but the stator, it's a mind-blowing diameter stator. I don't know why Future Motion didn't make it on the XR or GT. It looks bigger than, than, than uh, GT. Well, let's see, around 5 inch, the cover itself. This one is actually half inch bigger in diameter, but we all know stator, even a quarter inch bigger in diameter, plus wide, wider, that will give you much more uh, torque. Efficiency is kind of different because it depends what voltage, what wattage is using. The axle itself looks pretty good. The O-rings looks, looks nice and kind of looks like it fits the way it should be. Uh, machin machining of the of that surface, it's it's kind of hard to say how good it is. It looks looks pretty good, and it doesn't feel like it has any imperfection. Speaking about winding, winding looks actually it's not that great. If you look at over here, look like that winding been square smash. This winding still kind of sticking out a little bit. I hope it's not gonna ground it on this uh, uh, support ribs. But yeah, looks like when they uh, put it a winding, they also hammer it down. And that that style, I don't like it to be honest. It doesn't look too good. And yeah, especially like this one sticking out compared to this guy, another four, uh, probably four millimeter or so. If you hold it ruler straight like that, you will see, I mean, you will see how much gap. Let, let me hold it like that. Yeah, probably three, can have to four millimeter. Look like almost someone after, when they put it together, someone drop it or so, or maybe they have machine to smash it, but it doesn't look right. This side looks, looks all right. It also smashed. Maybe that's, that's the way they do which kind of suck because here you can see almost almost been destroyed it's still still in one piece but i don't like the way it looks the face wire and like i mentioned already the cable itself looks much thinner than on than on gt on uh, xr they do use i believe it's a 14 gauge wire the face wire over here with with isolation it looks like probably 14 without it probably 16 it's not it's not that actually let me get magnifier there's some writings okay guys i got magnifier i look at all those wires and i was not able to find it uh any marking how thick they are to me it looks like probably 14 i hope it's not 16 gauge and that's the face wires i'm talking about because all the all those other wires look like probably 24 gauges or so for uh, 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 hull sensor and temp uh, and they're really really thin those three it, it, it's a phase wire well like i said the motor especially when you're holding in your hand that uh, i don't know five pound or so or more um, stator it looks really impressive Let's look at magnet. Of course, I don't have any tester to test those magnets 
see how uh, how strong they are the magnets actually to me looks all right i mean they look all looks like being glued in the right place in the right height and well i hope it's gonna work the way it the way it should be i hope my uh, uh my female connector is gonna show up in the next couple weeks uh i mean because it's already m one month in a uh, transaction and also i did i just did recognize it this hub i mean the cover it has a six bolts uh mountain part uh pl spots places and the hub itself it's been drilled for 12. <laughs> it's kind of funny uh, and also all 12s do have yeah, I do have a thread, and the thing is, this bolt's one size thread. This bolt is much smaller. Look like this one it's three three millimeter, three point five or four, and this one is three. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Maybe it's a prototype rim, and when they design it, they're not really sure uh, what size uh, of bolts this is gonna go. But like I said, it looks pretty good. I kind of like it. Well, guys, pretty much that's all I got for this video. I hope it was interesting. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.